filed against the teen driver of a car involved in a fatal crash earlier this month. 16-year-old Ashley Borer was killed when the car in which she was riding slammed into a parked tractor trailer rig in Royersford. Tonight, the 19-year-old driver is charged in her death. Action News reporter David Henry is live at the Montgomery County Courthouse with more on this. David? Well, Rob, the county prosecutor is coming down hard on the driver of that car. It is a message they want parents and teens to hear loud and clear, especially as we enter the prom season. Where teens and booze and cars are mixed and people get hurt. Police say 19-year-old Patrick Sullivan of Royersford and his teen friends were drinking beer the night of March 10. Around 8 p.m., Sullivan got behind the wheel of his new car. He got the car that morning. His father had purchased the car for him that morning. And then, of course, that evening, this happens. Police used the same kind of car to reconstruct the accident. They say Sullivan was doing more than 62 miles an hour over the small pockmarked street when he lost control. The car hit a parked tractor trailer rig. 16-year-old Ashley Boer was thrown from the car and died of massive head injuries. Sullivan was tested on the scene and was not intoxicated. But because of the speed, he is charged with homicide by vehicle. So this is a reckless uh, case here? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. you're not going to deny that in court, then? I don't think we can deny it. Although Sullivan wasn't drunk, the DA says it's a sad reminder that teenagers, booze, and cars are often a deadly combination. I can't stress enough that this is something parents need to make sure their kids are not doing. Cars are dangerous with teens driving them anyway. They're not able to control the cars. They don't know how to navigate the roadway without drugs or alcohol complicating matters. Now, Sullivan faces up to seven years in jail if he's convicted, but he's likely to get much less than that. Police have also arrested 22-year-old Lauren Perry of Spring City and charged her with supplying the beer to the teens the night of that deadly accident. Live in Norristown, I'm David Henry, Channel 6 Action News.